bottoms of those. Ah, you have to excuse me, I am self-medicating today because I busted my knee up when I was in the ocean earlier today. Um, anyway, so this is my usual kind of video, but I thought I'd share this because I've had a few people ask me about this watch. I think they must have seen it in some of my, my other videos and um, it's, it is brand new. Uh, you know, I've had it for a few days uh, and it's brand new on the market. It's the new uh, Casio G-Shock and it is the 20, I'll give you the exact code, it is the, uh, the Casio GA2100 1A1ER, which is the 1A1ER at the end there is the black version, but the 2100 new, is a new series for them. They've brought out this uh, uh, bright red one, one with a sort of clearer dial to this with a bit more, um, uh, you know, kind of white paint in the uh, in the, the type, in the, the copy here for G-Shock and protection. Um, and this black one, which is kind of like the stealth one. Um, and yeah, I'm really, I think this is a great, great little watch. So I, I'm really happy with it, but it's kind of exactly what I was looking for. I've been, I've had quite a few, um, you know, G-Shocks. I've had quite a few Casio watches. You know, I'm in the ocean a lot. I'm, I, I treat my stuff quite roughly. So um, I like to have something which is obviously pretty tough and waterproof and all the rest of it. You know, I, I, I had some of the, the classic G-Shock uh, squares, the DW5000C, 5, you know, the original G-Shock. Um, and I even had some of those sort of more modern ones with all the crap stuck on them, which are, in my opinion, kind of ugly, but you know, they've been sort of gifts and things like that. But I even like the really sort of cheap uh, Casios. Like this is the, um, uh, this is the, da -da -da -da, what is it, the uh, W217H, which is kind of a, an upgrade from the, the classic F91W1. Um, they're really, really cheap. Um, but it's like the, the, the one of the biggest selling watches in, in the world, I think, the uh, original, the one that this is replacing. When I say replacing, it's not replacing the old one, still in the market, but this is like a larger version of that. Um, I'm actually quite a big fan of this, and this is like a $15 you know, dollar watch. Uh, this new, new line of, um, they call them Carbon Core, Carbon Core Guard, these new line of uh, G-Shocks, um, around about the sort of hundred pound or hundred dollar mark. Uh, you can get can get them for a very bit cheaper if you import them. I think this black variant. I think this is like really hard to get hold of in the states, and you know these are brand new. Um, so you may not have seen very many of these in, this, in the states. So you'll see you'll see a few in Japan, and there's a couple leaking out over over to uh, Europe here. If I'm in the UK, um, let me just zoom in a little bit so you can see better. Okay, there we go. I swapped uh, lenses so you can get a. A better look here. Um, I'll, I'll pop on some uh, macro lenses in a minute. It's one of the reasons why I went to this video because it kind of gives me an excuse to play around with the uh, macro lenses and stuff, which is isn't stuff I normally do because I'm normally out and about, um, you know, filming stuff with the long lenses. But anyway, so uh, what was I saying? So yeah, this is the their new range of uh, carbon core guard um, G shocks, and as you can see, it's borrowed uh, this sort of o octagonal uh, shape from the classic uh, DW. Uh, 5000C type line of uh, G-Shocks, which is like the classic sort of, you know, mid 80s uh, G-Shock, which I really like. It's a lot less uh, decluttered um, than a lot of these, uh, you know, a lot of, to be honest with you, the last few years of G-Shocks, you know, there's so many really, really ugly ones. Whereas I think this has got a sort of really nice, simple, pure kind of look. You know, it's got a few bits of extraneous detail and bits in there, which, you know, if I was designing it, I may change, but that's being overly fussy. I think this is a, a great option. But yeah, so this new range of carbon core, um, they have carbon fiber sort of mixed in with the resin around the uh, the sort of the main um, case that, you know, obviously holds the, the module. Uh, and so they've managed to actually make it thinner. This is now the thinnest available uh, G-Shock, I believe. That's what they're, uh, they're touting it as. So even though it's quite a large face larger than the um the 5000c uh you know standard g-shock so it's a bit sort of taller you know it's round so it's a bit sort of bigger that way but it is actually a bit thinner and it wears really really well i'm really 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 happy with this little thing and it's got all the kind of standard functionality that you um uh, would expect you know you've got your days over here on on the left um just with this uh physical dial um then you've got little lcds display down here You've got um, a light, which sort of like casts light over the whole um, face, but also a backlight for the little LCD down there. And that cycles, you press this one down here, that cycles between, um, oh, hang on, make sure I'm in, 
Yep, I was in the middle of setting mode. Yeah, I was. If you press those two there, it moves the hands out of the way, so you can access. You know, you can view the the little screen down the bottom there. Um, it's you know good for sort of messing around with the menus and stuff. So that's why it wasn't it wasn't showing the right time. There you go. It's gone back to uh, the regular time now. So d down here, the modes. Let's just put it to standard time. So in standard time, you either cycle through the date, date and month, uh, or the um, uh, the digital time display down the bottom as well as obviously the you know the analog hand showing you the time as well day on the left as i said before you got your kind of standard stuff you've got your world time you can choose you know zillions of cities i'm not too bothered by that you've got your stopwatch start stop all the rest of it as you'd expect expect you've got your timer it's got it on 10 minutes at the moment obviously change that to whatever you want it to um obviously alarm i think you've got quite a few different alarms uh to choose i think i think it's six I'll, I'll put a, a little disclaimer on the screen if that's not true um and then world time stopwatch yeah get back around to standard time there you go standard time mode there um it works just like all the other g-shocks it's it's very sort of um very predictable uh you know the the controls and, and how you set it and all the rest of it um like i said you've got a light at the top there let's quickly show you what that looks like when i turn these lights off one moment okay so this is what the um the light looks like in sort of this is now a darkish room it's not a dark dark room i've got you know the a bad light at the back of the room now and there's a little red light over there for a little bit of um fill so as you can see you've got a single led down in the corner there uh, and then you've got a backlight on the main screen and that kind of fades away i think you can choose how long that, that fades away i think you get between one and three seconds or something like that uh, but it sort of fades away in a sort of gentle manner so it's got a nice bit of um you know a bit of sophistication to the led uh, light at least now let me quickly show you what that looks like in complete darkness so you get an idea one moment okay now it's pretty much pitch black in here as you can see there's loom on the uh, the hands there and then when i press the um led light we pretty much you can just about see um the whole screen there let's make sure i got that in focus there we go um so yeah as you can see i might have my iso turned down a little bit lower than it should be let's turn it up a little bit more just so you get a slightly better idea what that looks like hopefully that should be about right let's find that button again it's pretty dark in here yeah i think that looks about um what it looks like to my naked eye just to check in the monitor against the actual reality so there you go that gives you an idea um, as you can see it's this is a stealth model so it is definitely harder to see everything you need to see but you know holding that close up to your face uh, you know in the middle of the night under the bed clothes or something you can see that absolutely fine but it's certainly not a uh, bright and easy to read display but that's kind of one of the reasons why I sort of like this anyway let's pop the lights back on okay so here it is on on the wrist and it really does wear like an absolute uh, absolute dream really happy with this it's obviously you know not very heavy at 31 grams and it's not too big and it doesn't stick out too much like i said i think this is the thinnest uh, g-shot watch they now make uh, which is great obviously they've got managed to com compress everything with that new carbon fiber resin uh, core thing so they don't need a metal case as well um, it just has the plastic over the top and then that carbon fiber mixed resin case thing underneath that uh, and yeah so it wears really well it's really light um, you know you can get smaller watches you can get lighter watches obviously but for me it's a nice sort of uh, balance like here it is next to the um, the, the W you know 217 um, which is this is obviously bigger than the F uh, 91W which is the standard uh, you know very 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 popular Casio watch uh, but it gives you some idea what that looks like compared to that um, this is a sort of smallish medium smallish size and this is about kind of i would say this is medium it's certainly a lot smaller than some of the uh the g-shocks you can buy today and so for me i've got fairly sort of petite uh wrists you know i'm i'm not a petite guy i've got sort of bigger bigger shoulders and stuff but they're not i seem to have quite narrow little wrists just the way nature's uh <laughs> nature, nature's given me these little spindly arms but so i don't want anything that's too too big um, and but also if you get anything too petite it starts to look like a girl's watch and this is clearly a man's watch um, so yeah I think this strikes a, a good balance for me uh, you know it, like I said if, if I would go for the one with the clearer dial if you really want something you can just glance at quickly in gloomy light um, and without having to sort of like look twice 
this is slightly harder to read um, but in in sunlight and in bright light overcast skies you know with in daytime I can glance at this and get the time immediately uh, and you know, and you've got the loom on the dials and you've got the LED light and all the rest of it so it's just that sort of that that glance when you glance down in gloomy light when you're not using the light that's the only time where you sort of have to squint at it slightly because it's not super super clear um, but I'm yeah I'm really really happy with this it wears really well it's not pulling hairs out my arm it it sits there nicely and you know I'm I'm in the ocean quite a lot and I don't want anything that's going to get snagged up on my on my kite lines or on my wetsuit when I put my wetsuit on or anything like this and and this does a pretty good job of keeping a fairly low uh, low profile so yeah I'm really happy with this watch and yeah like I said I'm not a massive watch head but I am a big fan of uh, Casios and G-Shocks um, you know I think if, if if I was if I was going to choose something on a purely aesthetic level, I wouldn't choose a G-Shock. I would choose something, you know, metal and leather. I don't know, like an old rotary or, or or something, you know, more classic. Something that you can kind of like, you know, you can pass down to your son and all the rest of it, and it, and it has um it has a bit of uh, history. Um, but that's no good for me because I'm out on the beach, I'm out in the ocean. You know, I bash things. I'm in sandy environments. I'm in wet environments a lot. So I need something which is modern and rugged and they're not as attractive. Um, but for me, I think this does a really good job of balancing that traditional kind of the DW5000C, the classic G-Shock uh, shape um, with your analog hands, which, you know, I, I'm a big fan of having analog. Uh, but you've got LCD as well. So, it, you know, and it's not too gaudy. I think, you know, G-Shock uh, have been lost in the in the woods a little bit for the last few years. They've made they've made a few nice watches, but they've made an awful lot of really ugly watches. Um, but I think they've done a great job with this new line. I think they really are they really are sort of like hitting a nail on the head for for certain people who they're they're kind of sick of that sort of '90s G-Shock look, which is you know bits stuck all over it and bright colours and big logos and all the rest of it. Whereas this is it has a lit you know it's slightly tacky <laughs> it, but it kind of looks cool and it kind of looks functional and it kind of looks um it looks like it's doing a job and there's not too much design which is you know just superfluous and not needed um and at the same time it's tough as old boots and it's waterproof and all the rest of it so yeah i think this ticks a lot of, a lot of um and it's not too you know it's not too much money too anyway guys i hope that was a useful little video for you like i said i had a couple of people asking me about my watch they obviously caught a glimpse of it in another video um and yeah i thought i'd share you share a little bit of information because this is brand new out and i think like i said the black one's very, very hard to get hold of um in america i think you can get it in europe not too bad at the moment uh, obviously that will change was when they start sort of sorting out their socks their stock i should say uh in japan um yeah i think these these have been out for i don't know maybe a few weeks now i'm not sure exactly um but it's it's definitely a, you know, a new product and i know that they've only just updated literally yesterday the g-shock uh, uk um, website and they added this and a couple of other ones i'm no expert i'm just telling you my sort of general uh, feelings on it um but yeah i think they've really They've really hit the nail on the head with this watch. I'm really happy with it. And I'm going to be wearing it for probably a good few years. And yeah, let's see how we go. Thank you guys. I hope that was useful. And peace out.